Hello and welcome to WrestleQuest. This is the demo for the game, and if you'd like to check it out, there is a link in the description. This is a JRPG wrestling game, and I am extremely interested to see what is going on with it. Anyway, let's start a new game and see. Welcome to the toy room, where every action, figure, toy miniature, and plushy dreams of wrestling greatness. From the board game jungles of Junglaji to the wintry winds of the Great North. Every toy lives, breathes, and craves wrestling, practicing their slams and paying homage to legends that came before them. Many tales of creativity and imagination have sprung from the toy room, and many fabled battles have taken place here, both in and out of the ring. One such tale and its many battles, both of the plastic and of the heart, is about to begin. And a quest of this size takes not one hero, but two. Oh yeah, we're here to see the cream rise to the top, so if you want to find me, don't look sideways, don't look behind you, just look up. No way, Macho Man, forfeit the match and give that championship belt to his rightful owner, me. Listen, Lizard, you gotta earn this belt with your madness in the ring, it belongs only to the best, yeah. That's why I'll be the champ for a long time, dig it, 10,000 years as world champion, oh yeah. Are those shades a little too dark? Can't you see I have this place rigged to blow? Explosives don't scare me, you stitched up cotton ball. You can't win by cheating. You always think you're such a hero, don't you, macho man? You can't win when the deck is stacked against you this bad. And that's the bottom thread, because Stone Age said so. Can't win? Stone Age, you are just a grain of sand in the desert of macho madness. Oh yeah! And here he goes. <laughs> oh my, he literally took him down. He took him down. All right, hilarious, hilarious, super funny. Wow, 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 did you guys see that? Forget it, Randy, we'll never get tickets this late. Come on, we can still wrestle outside. Go for it, Randy. Oof, good thing this isn't the plastic mattress. Man, how do the pros do some of those high-flying moves without hurting each other? Are you kidding me? It's all fake, dude. What? What's your mouth? Yeah, Peanuts, shut it. You really think it's real? Really? Of course it's real. <laughs> it's about as real as Todd. Hey, counterfeit toys are still real. Shut up, Todd. And you, Randy, even if wrestling was real, which it isn't, you'll never be a pro. No kid from our town ever could be. You couldn't be more wrong. Wrestling is real, and I'll be its greatest champion ever. Several years later. Ah, uh, yes, this new outfit feels estupendo, but I better get out to the main part of the gym. Mr. Stretch wants me to train the new students. The radar in the bottom corner will help you stay on course. Icons will appear here for quest objectives, shops, and healing. When in doubt, look here to keep slamming in the right direction. And here we go. All right, so let's move. Let's go. Let's uh, let's let's charge. Oh, there we go. I can actually sprint. That's interesting. All right, so I have no idea where I am going right now. Do I go this way? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Right. <laughs> uh, they just told me how to get here, and I was just like, yeah, how do I get here? Yeah. There you are, Randy. Get in the ring and show these green horns the ropes. You got it, Mr. Stretch. All right, let's do it. As I say, this is kind of like a JRPG, so, you know, I'm kind of intrigued as to what that means. Anyway, all right, rookies, you want to learn how to wrestle? You want to discover how to win the crowd's loyalty and hear their cheers shake the very foundation of the universe? You want to become a coiled spring of excitement to the most electrifying thing the world of wrestling has ever seen? Man, this is downright poetic. Then you are in the right place, muchachos. Take some notes and soak it in. Alright, here we go. So we have HP and we apparently have some other kind of energy source. On your turn, you can strike, taunt, use an item or use a gimmick. Let's practice our strikes first. There we go, we've got AP, so that's action points. Okay, so strikes. That is strike. So we can now use that and then we're going to strike him with brutal hands. 
There we go. Whenever you strike, you can earn some extra damage if you are able to match the button prompt. Try it now. All right. Yeah, there we go. Did it. Boom. Nice job. There we go. Ah, we actually did it. Wow, I, I can't believe it, to be honest. That was usually things that require any kind of timing. Oh, yes, you can just miss me with that because I am terrible at those. But I, I actually find them enjoyable. That's the funny thing. I find them super fun. Anyway, most attacks have a chance to send your opponent to the ropes. Okay, let's try it. Here we go. After knocking them into the ropes, you'll have a chance for a follow-up attack. Do it now. There we go. There's another attack. All right, perfect, perfect. Nicely done. Check out your height meter down at the bottom. Yeah, I saw that. This is a measure of how pumped up the crowd is in your favor. You can raise the height meter by mixing up your attacks and nailing button prompts. Okay, yeah, well, that's what I'll try to do. Oh, we actually, oh, we, we, oh, we, have, to, we have to do more attacks. We have to do, like, uh, retaliatory strikes or something like that. That's pretty cool. Hype up the crowd for extra damage and even to enable some powerful moves. One way you can build hype is by using the taunt option. This will generate hype equal to 2 plus your influence. All that grandstanding will leave you vulnerable though, and you'll take an extra 25% damage for one round. Try taunting now. Alright, let's do it. There we go, we taunted him, and our defense is now down. Oh dear. Oh, he's doing massive damage. Button mash it. Whoa, okay, you hear my mechanical keyboard. It's very loud. <laughs> anyway, taunting is risky, but it can help you build hype quickly. Beware, though. If the hype meter dips in your enemy's favor, they'll gain extra power instead. Speaking of extra power, let's try out a gimmick. These are special abilities and wrestling moves. Let's do it. Okay, we got a bunch. Grab an enemy and show them some spice. Deals damage to one target. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Here's the special move. I don't even know what I have to press. Do I need to press anything at all? Oh, he's slamming him into the ground. Whoa, he did 100 damage. Wow, that's actually pretty crazy. Such power, such strength, such machismo, or machismo, however you want to say it. And we are done with the training. There we go. Wow. What happens if you fail the prompt after knocking an enemy into the ropes? <laughs> if you fail the prompt, I, I love the fourth wall break there. And then the enemy will use that momentum against you, so you better nail it. All right, yeah, I, I will try. This is the only way of beating an opponent to make them lose all their HP. Dios mio, no. In fact, most other wrestlers you face will have to be pinned. Observe. And here we go. We're going to be we're going to be learning how to pin now. All right, let's see how this guy looks weak and ready to drop. I don't even know. Does he look weak? Okay, we call this state fatigue. You can fatigue an enemy by bringing them to low HP. Some abilities may also fatigue enemies as a debuff. Let's send him to the mat with a strike. All right, let's do that. Boom. 86 damage. Now this enemy is fallen. When your opponent is on the mat like this, he is ready to be put into submission. The pin option will be available in the gimmick menu. All right, so there's the gimmick menu. There's the pin. We're going to go for the three... Let's do it. Let's go for the three count. Okay, do I have to press anything? To successfully pin in, you have to hit the button when the indicator is in the green zone. Which button? <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah. So uh, basically, it's just the enter button or the confirm button, whatever that is for you. Anyway, nice. Now the enemy is down and out. If you fail the pin attempt, your enemy will kick out and recover some HP. You can always attempt to pin him again after damaging him. Every pin attempt you do will get easier. Be on your guard, though. Enemy wrestlers can also pin you if you get too weak. Once you are pinned, there is no coming back. Also note that not all enemies will need to be pinned. Only wrestlers and other tough guys. And there we have it. Okay, we earned a little bit of experience as well. Pretty cool. I love the fact that you can earn experience in this game as well. That means that you're going to be able to unlock more skills and abilities, I can assume, at least. And as you can see, my HP and my various other stats are increasing. I like to see that. And no doubt we're going to get the opportunity to recruit party members as well if it is in standard JRPG fashion. We love that. And that covers the basics of wrestling. Strike and slam your opponent and be sure to hit those button prompts for extra damage. Beat them up enough and they'll be softened up for a pin. Remember to get, keep things interesting and exciting to keep the crowd engaged so that you retain control over the hype meter. Thanks, Randy. Why don't you lend a hand with the other greenhorns around? When you're done, come see me in the AV room for some lessons with the other advanced students. Oh, okay. So apparently we're an advanced student. Okay, so yes, I, um, I realize that we can now sprint. 
or generally I kind of knew how to sprint beforehand. So let me just make my way over here. And I believe I can actually train on these things. I believe all of these, um, all of these pieces of apparatus I can actually use to train um, and increase my my statistics in some way. I'm going to assume that I will be able to do that. All right, who near who here knows the subject to uh, to pumping up the crowd? Well, I don't even know. I, mean, I do. It's baby oil. Come on, Leonard. How many times do I have to tell you that baby oil is not the answer to everything? You know what? Get out of here. Go do some burpees until you puke. <laughs> okay. So you can pump up the crowd by showing your spice in the ring. Very good, Randy. But what about before you get in the ring? I'll tell you. You've got to get on the mic and cut a promo so hot it will ignite the crowd and burn your opponent to ash. How do you do this? Part of it is knowing your enemy. And part of it is being fast on your feet. Time to try it. Randy, come on up here. All right, let's do it. Let's see how you do with a rapid fire session. Oh, no, I, I'm not going to do well here. I am not going to do well. Uh, let's see. Randy is, uh, uh, he has a stupid name. Okay, Randy is better than the seismic disappointment or whatever it is you call yourself. <laughs> that, is, that is great. That is a great comeback. Randy is so weak, even I can see that he doesn't stand a chance of winning. The blind person. There we go. Yeah, well, technically it's a blind character, I suppose. Right? Well, but can you smell what... Uh, that might be true for snakes and ladders, but we're here to wrestle. So you're going down. There we go. I'm going to do that one. <laughs> I'm going to crack Candy Santos over here like a sugar cookie. Well, you should be careful with all that sugar and candy. Or you oh, no. And I'm going to dump this kitty cat here into the litter box. There we go. You see, class, you can generate hype before a big match by flexing on the mic. If you want to see more, I have an old match here on the TV between the Lochador and Dash Talent. Back when the Lochador was still part of Poor. Uh, I see they're trying to get... <laughs> they don't want to infringe. Yes. Prior to this bout, Dash had been antagonizing the Benthic Terror with a fishing rod during his matches against other opponents, trying to hook him during a high-flying move. All right, you slam junkies, get back to work. Except for you, Randy, I have a job for you. Do I need to kill 10 rats in the basement? That's, a, that's another game. Anyway, what is it, Mr. Stretch? There's a guy from the Boxwood Extreme Wrestling, the local wrestling league over at the Macho Man statue. You know it? Do I ever? Great. This BEW wrestler needs help with his gimmick. You'll know him when you see him. He's kind of between styles. All right, quest started. Face paint and handshakes. All right, let's, let's make our way down there then, shall we? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What have we got here? Check out your current objectives and past accomplishments in the quest tracker. This tool will provide a summary of your quest and provide directions on where to go next. Press this to bring up a UI panel in the overworld as a helpful reminder. All right, that is what I will do. So can I move down now? There we go. So yes, I press R and as you can see, we can now see exactly what we need to do. And that is what I, that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so is this the guy? Is this guy? No, that's not the guy right there. Okay, let me sprint. I, I should definitely sprint around here. His sprint is not that fast, i got to say. <laughs> I think I might need a little bit faster, please. Anyway, we're going to make our way over here. I actually really like the... Uh, I really like the sprite quality as well in this game. I think that's it's very, very. It seems very high quality to me. Anyway, let me actually just go up here. I think this is where I need to go. And here we go. Here's the world map. Fantastic. Look at this. This is insanely large. Wow. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here is the cream macho man statue. And let's travel into it. I suppose. Known for his consummate physical ability, his savage wrestling style, and his deep gravelly voice, Macho Man Randy Savage is quite possibly the most iconic legend of wrestling. Celebrating 29 title reigns across his 32-year career, Macho Man was not just a celebrated champion, but a long-standing crowd favorite as well. Whether cutting exciting promos or delivering incredible and theatrical flying elbow drops, Randy Savage won fans and accolades everywhere he went, even today. Savage is revered by fans and wrestlers alike with his story inspiring generation after generation. It is no secret that only someone like Macho Man can make the entire wrestling world stand up and say, Oh yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. And who are we looking at here? Who are we looking for? It's truly something, isn't it? Yeah, I was more of a fan of guys that wore face paint. Though that time Jake the Snake trapped Macho Man in the ropes and attacked him with that cobra would go over big in B.E.W. B.E.W. 
Wait, you're the guy I'm here to meet. I'm from the training gym. I'm here to help. Great. So you see, I can't quite decide which way to go. Should I be vibrant and electrifying, or dark and brooding? I think dark and brooding fits BEW better, but I just love using bright colors. I've got to pick something that will fit with the vibe of the other guys, or the writers won't know how to use me. Writers? Forget it. Look, can you just go to the face paint shop for me? They have some samples I want to try out. Sure, face paints. So the writers will like you. Poor thing babbling about writers, he must be delusional. Does he still think that it's real? Does, does my character still think it's real? Oh, that would be sad. Oh, that would be very, very sad indeed. All right, so I'm going to go. <laughs> uh, to be fair, it is actually a, a very uh, poignant spectacle most of the time, isn't it? You know, it, it's, there's so much drama going on. Anyway, let me head on in here face to face. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's a great pun. Face to face. Hmm, strange. There's nobody here. Maybe they're in the back. Uh, what do you bet there's going to be someone going on here? Face paint on your feet? What kind of madman would do such a thing? Well, I don't want to tell you, but uh, it's probably someone that's an intruder of some kind that we're going to need to beat up. What do you bet? Yep, there's a wrestle raider. Take it all. Gather the wall paints for our overlords. They're looting the shop. Here's one. Take him alive and we'll melt him down to use his plastic as war paint. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're going to have to beat him up. Let's do this. Okay, we're just going to beat him up right there. And we're going to have to make sure that I... Oh, wow, that was that was close. Okay, we, we dealt some damage to him. Hopefully my hype meter will do relatively well. What is this? A taunt? Uh, gimmicks? What's this? Items. Okay, I'm just going to strike him again, I guess. There we go. We're constantly hitting him into the ropes. I have no idea how much HP he has. I can't use the same move over and over again, so I'm going to taunt. There we go. Just taunted him. Look, at there's the finger waggle. There's the finger waggle. Now he's going to do massive damage to me, unfortunately, but that's good enough. That's good enough. Let's try and do this south of the border stunner. Let's do it. All right, here we go. How much damage can we do? Do I need to do any any kind of key presses? Yes, I do. There's a key press right there. That was fast enough. And he's now fallen down. So that means I can now pin him. Or I should be able to pin him. Here we go. Let's do it. And there we go. He is successfully pinned. I love the, f the fact that the referee comes in <laughs> at that exact moment. This is very funny. All right, so we are um, probably not going to level up. Let's face it. No, we're not going to level up from that, unfortunately. Uh, but there you go. I should find the shop owner before these wasteland slammers try to melt him down too. I'm going to assume that we need to go this way. A table. There's only one way through one of these. Table spots. Okay, so a table a table lock blocks your path. Unlock the table with a table spot token. Once you find one, reapproach the table to throw a wrestler through it. Table locks and table spot tokens come in three varieties: single, double, and flaming. With each table corresponding to the appropriate token. Okay, I'm not entirely sure if I actually understand what that means, but I'm going to assume that we need some kind of currency to get through it. So wait a minute. What is this? I just found some treasure. Look at that. I found an elbow pad. Can I equip this? No, it does not appear as though I can equip this. Maybe it's a collectible of some kind. I'm going to assume that. Anyway, is there a... Yeah, there is another treasure chest here as well, actually. So, let me just get that. There we go. We've got more treasure. Action figure speedos. Oh, yes. And we got some more treasure here as well. There we have it. Okay, so... Um, I, I, I seem to be done here, so I, 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 apparently they're not here. Apparently the, the people that I need to meet are not here, so we're going to need to find um, something else. Or, can I actually use this now? Ah, I can use this now. Oh, pff, okay. <laughs> that was funny. All right, great. More wool pain. Our masters demand it. Somebody help. We're being robbed, says the, the robotic salesman. Well, technically, he's kind of more like Lego, isn't he? Anyway, so here we go. Let's do this. We're gonna. Oh, I'm still damaged. Oh no, I'm actually still damaged. Okay, that's that's a. Oh, that's that's kind of bad. That's kind of bad for me. All right, we're doing some good damage though. We're doing some good damage. Uh, I think I'm probably just gonna go for. Oh, reduce damage dealt. Okay, I'm gonna taunt him. 
I'm going to taunt him because we're going to get reduced damage dealt this turn. So I kind of want to do this. Defense is going down, but that's okay. Oh, I missed it. No. Okay. I actually missed that. I thought I, I thought I got it, but apparently not. There we go. Hit him into the ropes and then we can just continue to deal some damage to him. I am going to do my special move in just a sec. Oh, I keep missing that every single time. I am an absolute imbecile. Uh, well, never mind. Let's do this. This is going to cost me 10 AP. Should probably just start with this, to be honest. It does a lot of damage. So much damage, in fact, that I think we probably want to make use of it much more. Look at that. 151 damage we just did with it. So it is actually incredible. Let's pin him down. There we go. And... Got him. Nice. I love the, the pinning minigame. I think the pinning minigame is my favorite, actually, so far. There we go. Items obtained. Duct tape. And we got some experience, as you can see right there, too. Almost level four. Buddy, that was amazing. Are you a superhero? Ha. Huh. Superheroes are fake. I'm a pro wrestler. Well, whatever you are, those were some macho moves, muchacho. Yes. Macho moves, muchacho. I like the sound of that. Those blasted wrestle raiders come down here to get supplies for the rituals to worship the road warriors, hawk and ad animal, even. I was going to say admiral. I wish they could emulate someone more heroic. Someone more heroic. Anyways, what can I do for you, bud? It's on the house. Amigo, I'm here for a special order. Some samples for an ombre going through an identity crisis. Ah, I know the one. Can't decide between goth and surfer. Here they are. Thanks, muchacho. There we go. All right, so now we can return to Neon Grave Bird at the graveyard. There's nothing else here, I don't believe. There's no other treasure or anything like that that I need to pick up, so I should be fine to now move on. Oh yeah, I should probably hold down sprint. I'm always forgetting to sprint now. Ah, now he's all of a sudden at the front here. I find that very amusing every time that happens. Ah uh, yes. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Yes, now we need to go back here. Oh, there's so much of the world I want to explore as well. I mean, look at it. It's, it's absolutely massive. All right, so now we can speak to Neon Grave Bird here. Here, I hope these help in your quest at BEW. Thanks, say. What do you think I should choose? And then we got to go. Um, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to say he should go with what he wants, which is the surfer style. He wants to go for more electrifying and, and uh, vibrant colors. And if he wants to do that, I feel like that's what he should do. So let's do it. Thanks. I'll consider that. If you need me, I'll be over here practicing some catchphrases. Go see Johnny Stretch back at the gym and there we go we completed that quest all right so that's actually going to be it for this episode if you'd like to check out wrestle quest there is a link in the description add it to your steam wish list so you get notified when it gets released it's coming out in august i believe otherwise i thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time